Welcome to Tile Basics Session 7. And in this session, we'll get into a few more calculations, but we'll be focusing on um, creating tables with the results of your scans so that you have the points above the limit listed in a table for presentation. And you can then, you know, output the data. And in the final exercise, we'll go through into uh, exporting the data and presenting it. So where we left off, we had the horizontal graph, we set it up, we did the peaks measurements, we did the, uh, the frequency sorting, the bandwidth sorting to help, help get the, just the five peaks, not the 20 some peaks that were over the limit. And now I went ahead offline and made that active on the vertical graph as well by copying things over and updating the formulas. So where we are now, is we want to be able to put this data in tables and we also want to know the delta to the limit you know how far over the limit are these numbers so let's do that let's create a margin equation right now so in the horizontal graph we want to take the over points the over limit point and subtract that value from the limit and get the delta. And you can do it either way. Some, some people prefer to see outages as negative numbers. Some people prefer to see it as positive. In this case, we'll probably actually subtract the limit from the over limit point to get how many dB over the limit that point is. So if we go into the data, we can add an equation. We'll call it margin H and it will be horizontal margin to the limit. And the, it'll be just a, a math, so it'll be just in dB. So the source will be a preset, or an equation rather, not a preset, an equation. It'll be non-continuous. And what we want to do is take EQ over H minus limit underscore test. Hit OK. And when we evaluate, we get the points and the amount, the, basically the, the total magnitude or dB over the limit that they are. And they're prepped so that we could actually put them in a table. We can go ahead and just copy this do a copy and paste and very rapidly create the vertical margin as well by just going into the equation, putting in a V and just saying vertical margin to the limit. Okay. So there we have the data and we have the, the delta from the limit to the peak of these points. So to create a table, we can create a table much in much the same way that we would create a graph. We go into the project tree and on tables, we collect, select add and you're presented with a bare table. And it has the same two hamburgers that the graphs do, the, the menu hamburgers as we call them. They're the data items and then the settings. So in the settings, we can do much the same thing that we did here. We can call this horizontal table and it'll be the Acme EMC lab radiated emissions and we'll justify it left. There, so now we can take the data and this is where things get interesting. So when you put data into a table, it really depends on what you want to see. So certainly we want to see any of the over limit points. OK, and we certainly want to see the limit. Right. Um, but what you want to see beyond that, we can put the margin in. And then in some more comprehensive reports, certain standards will require you to show the raw data and all the corrections you know, for the losses, the antenna and everything else. 
so that you have a full accounting um, of, you know, comparing what came out of the instrument to the final number. Uh, so it can actually be actively checked by an auditor. So in order to do that here, we can actually import, uh, stick the raw data in, as well as the antenna, the path loss factor and the antenna factor. We can put all of this in the table. And when we hit okay, we're presented with all these numbers. Now, there's a couple of things that may jump at, jump out at you right away. One is the sheer number of data. We only have five points. So why do we have all of this data? Well, I'd like to show you in the properties, there's a selector here, a selection called show all. And what the show all does, the show all, will we'll tell the table to show every piece of data in that element. So when you set up a table, you wanna set up so that the initial element, the first element is what we would call the key data. So if you've ever done anything in Microsoft Access or any database, there's a key data element. In this case, for this table, the over H is the key data. Those five points over the limit that we found, those are the key data. So we wanna show all of those. All of the other items in this list, we don't want to show them all. We want to show them only where there's over data. So if we uncheck all of these shows, as I'm doing right now, and hit OK, the table condenses down to just where there's over limit points. There's the test limit. There's the margin. There's the raw data the cable loss and the antenna. It's all there in one table. The other thing that sticks out that may, you may not like in the table is when you first set this up, you literally get the actual data item names. Well, much like in the graphs, you can go into these first description and second description boxes and you can change that. So what we can do is say over limit, and in the second description, you can actually put the units of measure. So in this case, those points are dB microvolt per meter. Do a capital V per meter. And when you hit OK, you'll see that these get modified. So now they're over the limit and we can do the same for all of these. So it's pretty simple to just go through and say limit. That one is also dB microvolts per meter. The margin is just, just gonna be margin in dB. This is gonna be raw data. dB microvolts. Path loss is just path loss in dB. And the correction factor for the antenna, we'll call it ANT factor, and it'll be dB per meter. So once that's all set up, this is what your table now looks like. Looks just a little bit neater, a little bit more professional, like something you'd want to show your customer. In fact, we can take that now and we can duplicate it in vertical by copying and pasting the table and going through some of this again, we can create the vertical table. What I will do offline after this lesson is I'll create the vertical table. And when we start the final lesson on exporting data, then we'll go ahead and export all of the vertical and horizontal data. Um, a few other nuances about the tables. If you wanted to, you can also put the date and file information in here. Interestingly enough, the way the tables update, they don't, they don't update immediately. So when you switch to a graph or some other function and come back to the table, then you can see the updates. So that concludes session seven. This was pretty brief. We just needed to get into the margin calculation and creating the first table. I will create the vertical one offline, like I said and we'll be into the next session, which is going to be exporting and presenting the data.